Former Cuban. Rajkovic of Cyprus. Look at him. Well, they've got spike shoes on, but uh, really it just affects the confidence a little bit when you've got uh, rain pounding down like this because it is absolutely throwing it down. The camera's getting its uh, fair share as well, as you can see. But there's the lineup for the first heat of the men's 110 meter hurdles. Uh, Fofana uh, of uh, Italy, Trajkovic of Cyprus, Reynolds of Ireland. Uh, Kopanyo of Ukraine. I'll try that again. Kopanyoko of Ukraine. Contreras of Spain. Uh, Laka of Finland. And Martinson of Denmark. Let's have, go through the lane by lane. We may well get a chance to do that. Fafana of Italy, formerly of Ivory Coast. Didn't get beyond the heats of the championships uh, last time. Drawn on that uh, inside lane. In the second lane, Trajkovic of Cyprus, the Cyprus record holder, competed in the Commonwealth Games. He, was, he didn't get through the heats there. And he didn't get through the heats in the last Europeans either. The Irishman, Ben Reynolds, Northern Irish record holder, six times the champion. But this is Contreras of Spain, former Cuban, as I said, in Spain since 2012, semi-finalist in the World Championships last year. Then you've got Laco. Uh, three times the Finnish champion. Trajkovic of Cyprus then. He's got a 13.55 to his credit. But uh, certainly Contreras of Spain with, uh, well, he's got a 13.35 to his credit. We'll see. Fofana, Trajkovic, Reynolds, Kopenyak, Yeko of Ukraine, Kontiras of Spain, Laka of Finland, Martinson of Denmark. The first heat, the first three to go through to the next round, plus the four fastest losers. Contreras uh, got to the hurdle quite quickly, didn't he, around the far side. Radjevic of Cyprus running very strongly indeed, along with Contreras on the near side. Contreras and the and Trajkovic. Trajkovic gets it. Uh, Contreras gets in second place. 13.41, that's not bad in these conditions, actually. You've got a, a 0.3 metre per second uh, wind behind. But uh, Trajkovic of uh, Cyprus, their uh, record holder, 13.55. 13.39, in fact, uh, for Trajkovic. That's a very, very good start for him. Yes, it's the fastest time of his life. He's just broken his own national record. What a performance from Trajkovic. Well, if he can do that, splashing through the rain, what will he achieve when the sun comes up? Great run. One or two problems, I'm afraid, for Ben Reddles, the Irishman. Got into all sorts of trouble with his trail leg early on and was never able to regain the rhythm. Let's take a look at that. Look at uh, Reynolds, first of all. Three from the left as we look there. Three from the right as things turn around. Went through the second barrier with his lead leg. Never recovered at all. But compare that with the Cypriot. Out in front. Great rhythm. Glass apart. Cypriot national record. Not a huge man. A very snappy trail leg flexibility, particularly around the hip area, is yeah. an absolute must for sprint hurdlers. Yeah, that trail leg, fabulous. Comes through very, very quickly. He's absolutely solid on the centre of the hurdle, and his, uh, his shoulders really don't move too much at all. But Martinson got uh, third place there with the first three to qualify. He goes through um, when he's got a 13.65, a season's best for him. So despite the conditions, well, they've done very well. Well, there it is. Trajkovic, a national record, 13.39. Contreras, second, 13.46. Martinson, then the third qualifier with 13.65. Like 96. So we're all set to go with this second heat of the qualification round of the men's sprint hurdles. Let's just clarify what we're talking about when we say qualification round. It's something that's been introduced to these European championships. 
there is essentially a buy or a direct route to the semi-finals for any athlete who is ranked in the top 12 in Europe, and that's on the basis of this year's performances. So if you are ranked somewhere between 1 and 12 in Europe in 2016 and have entered these championships, you can bypass the qualification round and go straight to the semi-finals. So we have three heats. This is the second of them. The qualifying criteria, the first three, plus four fastest losers. <coughs> so we will have room for an additional 11 who will have gone through that uh, process of having their rankings in the top 12. The list includes Vladimir Vukacevic, whose elder sister is the Norwegian national record holder. They're a good hurdling family. In fact, uh, their father was the national record holder in the old Yugoslavia. So there is the lineup in the middle there, Matthias Bula, five times the German champion. He was a semi-finalist at the World Championships in Beijing last year. There's Bukacevic. 13.55, his lifetime best. Despite these conditions, we've seen Milan Trajkovic of uh, Cyprus breaking his own Cypriot national record in the opening heat. So the rain may be coming down, but the breeze that is out there is legal, and it is at the backs of the sprinters. Which isn't always an advantage. It is important to stress that because uh, stride patterns are so important. And many of these, particularly the long striding sprint hurdlers, the wind at their backs can sometimes take them a little bit too close to the hurdles. So adjustments always have to be made. It's uh, really a discipline of very fine margins. So they go first time. There's a bit of movement there in the box from Bula, and he's been left a little bit, and there are problems there for Shamitra in the Ukrainian, who's almost out of it. The pole on the far side, Bocinek, but now you can see closest to the camera, Abati Vitili, it is who takes it. It may well have been Vukacevic who came through for second. We're looking for the first three. Great run from Abati. The Italian, who hasn't been in his best form yet this year, that is the fastest time he's run in 2016, by some margin. But he is, when he's going well, very good. Bula. Well, he did, in fact, get second place. Bula, very close for second place. Just one one hundredth of a second between second, third and fourth. Yeah, it was a, a poor run there by a Shamatrin of... Uh... The Ukraine, he really did stumble. Once he hit the hurdles, there was nothing coming back. But Abate on the near side, good hurdler. He uh, looks good coming off the hurdle. Really nice high knee coming off that hurdle and getting down to the deck and uh, just holding off Bula of Germany and uh, Colomo of Spain. Uh, 1363, 1375, 1376. So, look at the second place. When you've got the first three to go through, that's going to be tough on one of those. And we were talking about that men's sprint 100 final last night. Well, the first three in that final, rather like second, third and fourth here. Just one one hundredth of a second between all three. So Vukacevic will have to see if he goes through as a fast loser. But Abate, the Italian, was out in front. There it is, 13.63. Significantly slower than the first heat. The wind reading officially minus 0.5 metres per second. Wow, that was a good performance under the... Pass of uh, Spain, Parini of Italy, Sedok of the Netherlands, King, Dave King of uh, Great Britain, uh, Souks of Hungary and Pena of Switzerland in the seventh. They wrote from lanes two to seven on this occasion. Podas, semi-finalist in the World Youth Championship a few years ago, but they're going straight to Gregory Sedok of the Netherlands, former European indoor champion, semi-finalist in two Olympic Games in uh, Beijing in 2008 and again in 2012. He's been around a long time and uh, has been a great servant of uh, Dutch athletics. David King, third in the UK Championships. I saw him in the great Manchester City Games, incidentally, on the city environment, which has been so successful in Britain. He was third in that. 
three times an English under-23, yes, an a European under-23 champion. He's... But uh, Sedok, with 13.37, is 13.48 this season. But he has had problems with false starts in the past. He really does uh, need to get away from the box quickly, of course. First three to go through, plus the four fastest over the heaps. Painter of Switzerland, is he there? Don't think he is. Yes, I think he is. Yeah, he's there. King getting away well at this stage. Sedok is really struggling. King going well in leading this. The Briton, he's got a really hard work. He's got to work hard in the final stage, but he's going to qualify and qualify quite comfortably. And the Italian in second place and Sooks in third. So Perini second, Sooks in third. 13.57, David King through by right. And that was a good, solid performance by him. And uh, he really went out of the block. Sedok really didn't get uh, into his running at all uh, early on. But he's been around a long, long time now. But he has got a 13.48 this season. So, but the Valdo Sux, well, he got through. So did uh, Perini celebrating there. Perini, uh, 13.68 in second place. A good win at 13.55 for David King there with Sux at 13.76. Let's have a little look at King. He's got a bit of the John Ridgen about him, hasn't he? Very, very flexible. Look how close his chin gets to his lead knee. Compare that with Gregory Sedok, who, because he maybe lacks a little bit in the inches, climbs the hurdles a bit, but, but King, very dynamic. Shoulders staying very level. Good flexibility. Yeah, he gets down to the ground quickly with that trail leg, doesn't he? And you need to do that in high hurdling. The three-stride pattern in the middle of those hurdles. It's good, he's dipping in, but uh, he's got it by a good margin, actually, by a, just over a tenth. So, there's a very, look at that, it's a very good win indeed with uh, Sooks of Hungary getting the third qualification place. David King, Lorenzo Perini, and Valdo Sooks, and uh, they're the first three. wonder what uh, Lorenzo Perini's got to say. Grazie, sì. Era l'obiettivo di questo europeo fare il, il primo atto stagionale. Ci sono riuscito. Oggi è anche il mio compleanno, quindi... Auguri! <ride> Grazie. E cosa stai cercando per i semifinali adesso? Io intanto cerco il tempo per le Olimpiadi. Io penso che dopo oggi... So what's your goal for the semifinal? Domani in semifinale... I think I can achieve my goals. I think I'll be calmer, I will risk everything, and uh, I want to get to the Olympics. Happy birthday, thank you. Well, well that was a Barty, of course, not uh, the Italian in the last heat, Perini.